Hey all, today I want to look at how to get a custom wavetable from an audio sample and use it in a Kima oscillator. This is a pretty basic tutorial, but this is a really useful thing to be able to do if you're trying to construct a piece from a sample and you want to do some synthesis with oscillators that will be connected to that sampled material. Put another way, an oscillator that's built from a sample is connected to the motif of that sample. And so you can think about working this way as a kind of motivic development of that sample, trying to extract all of the possible opportunities from that sound. Before I go into Kima, I'm going to work in a waveform editor. Today I'm working in Adobe Audition. You can do the same thing with free software like Audacity, or you can even do everything in the Kima waveform editor. As I always say, I prefer to use the right tool for the right job, and starting out in a software that's designed to edit waveforms helps me in my workflow a little bit. Let's listen to this sample. So this is the first stanza of a poem in Korean, read by one of my friends. Let's listen again. Since this is a vocal recording, there's both consonants and vowel sounds. If we want something to be pitched, then probably vowel sounds are our best bet here. Let's look at this first one. So there's the kwang here, and pardon my Korean pronunciation. But let's look at that. So if I zoom in here, I can see a repeating periodic waveform here. Now, of course, since this is recorded and not synthesized, we can see there's little deviations between each cycle. So obviously an oscillator where we take one cycle of this and repeat it perfectly isn't going to sound exactly like the human voice, but we can do pretty well. Let me start by making a loose cut. I'm going to make our cycle from here to here, right? However, I'm going to start by cutting looser than that so that we can trim more detail in a moment. Command C to copy, Shift Command N for a new file. I'm working on 44.1 today, Command V to paste. So let's make this just one cycle. Okay, there's the beginning, and I'm going to take that first sample and silence it. I don't really need a fade because it was almost there to begin with. Trim, select that last sample, effects, silence. All right. Uh, just for good fun, let's normalize it to be sure. And then let me save as desktop. Uh, okay, and we can even in audition loop this and hit play. Okay, that sounds kind of like an ah sound, so that's pretty good. We've saved it. Now let's head over to Kima. So in Kima, let's go File, Open. And I've done a very bad thing and just put that on my desktop. Of course, you should always keep your files more organized than that. And now we have Kima's little waveform editor. Now, we just need to do one step here, Command A to select all of it. In order for a wavetable to work in Kima, it needs to be 4,096 samples long. So if we go to Change Duration, then here we're able to look at the duration, 0, 0, uh, zero minutes, 0 seconds, and how many samples? 4,096. That sounds good. If you're interested, you could mess with this number of interpolation points. I, I tend to, I think 4 is the default, and it seems to serve me well. So I'm going to hit Apply here, and it looks like my waveform is messed up here, but it's really just stretched it all out here. Command S to save that. Close it. Command B. Oscillator. Okay. Crack it open. And now, here's our oscillator prototype. Okay. Not many surprises there. And what we care about changing is the wavetable here. So let's change it to our ah, which we had also changed the duration of. And there we go. Wow. 
Okay, does not sound like a perfect uh, uh, vocal replica. Uh, I didn't plan on doing this, but I'm very, very tempted to add some vibrato and see. Maybe I'll do that at, at the end of the video. But all we're doing now is we're cycling through that wavetable. And then we can change the frequency of it. So if I go now and go action, record to disc. Okay. Uh, test. Command K to stop it. And let's go back and let's look at our AW test in our waveform editor. Now I did that at a very uh, low volume. I'm gonna normalize just so we can see it better. I could zoom, but let's see what it looks like. Hey, that's when we were playing it really, really low. And that's higher. But we can see it all looks like that waveform that we cut out is just being cycled there. So that's pretty neat. Okay, and that'll loop forever. Okay, that's neat. Mink, back to Kima, close it. Yeah, okay, so that's that one. Oscillator, ah. Uh, and now, why wouldn't we make an oscillator? Well, I don't know what it's gonna be called, but let's go back to our original file. So, I like the O sounds in here as something that will... As something that will definitely contrast with that ah sound. Okay, once again, let's do it loose. So I've got, I'm gonna cut from here to here in the end, but I, I start looser, Command C, Shift, Command N. I could name that when I make it, but let's not do that. Zoom in. By the way, whether I choose this sample or this sample is a little bit arbitrary. I wish I had a better answer than that, but oh well. Go to the end, and we wanna get rid of All of this, and just to be sure, effect silence, cycle it. I'm gonna normalize, save, O, same process again, go to Kima, Bink, I was indecisive about what to name that, open, O, there it is, modify, modifier, Change duration, 4096, apply, fit it, there it is, save, close, oscillator, well, I, in the end I decided to call it O, right? So there's our oscillator O. File in there, play. <laughs> So it's a bit of an uncanny uh, vowel sound. But here's our ah again. But we can tell that these have different timbres, as they should, because they have different waveforms in them. Hold down Command, click. There's our ah waveform. O, hold down command, click, there's our O. And so, you know, they're not completely dissimilar, but we can see that these are gonna have different timbres when we cycle them. I'm gonna do that vibrato in a second, but what I was playing at the beginning of this video is something I put together. I had an AW sample. Again, I, I made this before I recorded the other thing, so you can see my ah is a little bit different, though it looks similar. And then I have an O here, I think. And that's very different O. But these are ahs. One, two, three, four oscillators. Here are my O's. One, two, three, four. Each go into a mixer. This is more for organization than for anything else, because I mix them together and then mix them here. They all have different frequencies. They all have different 
pitches set there to make these sort of extended harmony chords. I think uh, the I is a, uh, it's like a G major seven, and I think, oh, it's G major nine. And this has got to be a C uh, major six. It's got both the seven and the six, and I, I can't remember now. And then they're controlled with these envelopes, which I've said to be the buttons. Well, and so now to test this out, I could see if these can live in the same world. So let's uh, play this. Uh, here, let's do this. Let's go to the very end. Pink. And I'm doing this in a silly way. Insert silence. Let's give five seconds of silence. Okay. So then we set this to loop. Play. Okay, I'm being silly, but you can see how those could maybe exist in the same musical timbral world. <laughs> you need a lot of reverb maybe to, to help blend those together. You'd probably want to do some processing to this. I bet you anything, when I'm done recording this video, I'll go back and I'll make something where I live granulate this and I'll, I'll throw it in the, the closer of this video. So I'm going to try to do that vibrato real quick. Back to just our ah. Uh. Okay, sounds a bit too robotic, but what happens if we add some vibrato? Command B, LaFo. I mean, an LFO is just an oscillator in Kima. I'm going to Command C, copy that. I'm going to go to this frequency, smooth note number plus LFO. Actually, I probably don't want to do it that way. Log Freak plus LFO, smooth note number, putting some parentheses there. Okay. Update my flow. Envelope. Let's call that depth. Frequency, rate, wavetable, let's make it a, I uh, really want that to be a sign, but I don't have my Kima folder here. Let's leave that be then. Okay, and then I'm gonna have to do some tinkering here, so give me a moment. Okay, I was silly, I did that the wrong way. I forgot this L to just take one channel of the LFO going in, and so I, I had messed it up, but I fixed it now. So all I did was I took in the LFO, LFO depth, I set the frequency to five hertz, okay, and so now we can play that. That's a ridiculous depth. Okay, I'm not sure if you think that makes it better or worse. But again, if we add the usual features that we're going to add to this oscillator, perhaps also filtering it, then we're not going to get something that sounds perfectly like a singing voice. But that's not our goal. If we wanted something that sounded perfectly like a singing voice, we'd go and record a singer. But we get something, again, that is timbrally connected to our original sample. All right, that's all I got for today. Let me know what you come up with.
后面。